In example number six, we're going to use the addition method when multiplication of both equations is required. We're going to solve the given system of equations in two variables by addition. The first equation is 2x plus 3y equals negative 16. The second equation is 5x minus 10y equals 30. Now, one equation has 2x and the other has 5x. Now, the least common multiple is 10x. So we will have to multiply both equations by a constant in order to eliminate one variable. If we eliminate x by multiplying the first equation by negative 5 and the second equation by 2. Now it doesn't necessarily mean that we would have to do that for the x. We can also find the opposites for 3y and negative 10y. So it doesn't matter which variables you choose. In this scenario, we're choosing x to eliminate. So we're going to multiply the first equation by negative 5, and again, drawing arrows is allowing us to backtrack and make sure that we're following the right um, number pattern. And then over here, we're going to multiply this by 2. So multiplying every term by negative 5, we're going to get negative 5 times 2x, which is negative 10x. Negative 5 times positive 3y is minus 15y. Negative 5 times negative 16 is 80. And now 2, we're going to multiply it by each term in equation 2. So 2 times 5x is 10x. 2 times negative 10y is minus 20y. And 2 times 30 is 60. So the next step is, is to add the two equations together. So when we add negative 10 plus 10x, that's going to give us 0. So we're going to get 0 minus 35y equals 140. And then we're going to divide both sides by negative 35 and therefore y is going to equal negative 4. And then what we're going to do is we're going to plug that value of negative 4 into uh, the original first equation or the second one. So we're going to use the first equation so we have 2x plus 3y equals negative 16 and then we're going to plug negative 4 back into the equation so we have 2x plus 3 times negative 4 which is equal to negative 16. 3 times negative 4 is minus 12, so we have 2x minus 12 equals negative 16. When we add 12 to both sides, we get 2x, which is equal to negative 4, divide both sides by 2, and then we get negative 2. So the solution is negative 2, negative 4, and then we can check it in, an, in the other equation. So by plugging that in into the other equation, we get 5x minus 10y equals 30. So 5 times negative 2, which is negative 10. Negative 10 minus 4 is positive 40. Negative 10 plus 40 is 30, which checks. And then again, if we look over here, if we graph both these equations, we would see that they intersect at one point, which is the solution that we have.